In this video, I'm gonna break down how I do the chachu throw, the ankle biter, and the jawbreaker. I've always been a pretty big advocate for light wind freestyle because it's helped me to really understand how my sail works and reacts to the wind in lots of different ways. These tricks are super fun and are great for when the wind is light. In this session, the wind was about seven or eight knots, which is about the minimum needed for these moves. I'm also using a 4.7 Duotone Superhero HD and a JP Funster 200 liters, which were both provided for by the surf school here in Vasiliki. So the first one is the chachu throw. Start by pointing the board across the wind, then with your front hand, position it quite close to the mast and place the back hand a bit further down the boom so your hands are spread apart. Next, move the sail across your body. And once the sail is moving across your body, you're gonna let go of the front hand, but keep the sail moving using just the back hand. Continue moving the sail across your body whilst allowing the sail to move slowly towards the nose of the board. As the sail is moving, cross your front hand over and grab somewhere near the clip on the boom. Once you grab the clip, let go with the other hand. This is the point where you throw the sail. It's the hardest part and really just takes a lot of practice because depending on the strength of the wind, the technique changes. In this case, because the wind was Light, there is a small delay before throwing the sail because you want it to power up as much as possible. Once you feel the sail power up and want to go, try to throw the clue of the sail somewhere between the nose of the board and the true wind. If you throw it too close to the wind, the sail will spin too quickly and you won't get a smooth sail movement. If you throw it too close to the nose of the board, the mast will hit the water. So it's about timing it correctly, throwing it in the right direction and with the right strength. It doesn't really seem to be an exact science, but more of a feeling, and that really just takes a lot of practice. If you've thrown it correctly, the sail should rotate and float just above the water. As it comes round, if the sail has enough momentum, it will get most of the way around and then the true wind will pick the sail back up and hopefully come straight back into your hands. So the next one is the ankle biter. Start by heading into the wind like you do for the heli tap. Then guide the sail forward until it starts the back wind slightly. Apply front hand pressure to control the sail and this will also turn the board further through the wind. As soon as you feel pressure in the back of the sail, you're now ready to throw the sail. I usually start the sail throw once my board is facing right into the wind, but you can do it when the board has turned even further through the wind. Try to guide the sail across your body with your front hand to get even more power in the back of the sail. The aim is to load it up with as much power as you can before throwing it. The wind is light in this demo, so I'm trying to power up the sail as much as possible. As the sail comes across your body, move your back hand down the boom somewhere near the clip. At this point, the sail naturally wants to go, so all you do at this point is just to let go of the front hand and keep the pressure on the back hand. This part takes a lot of practice and really just comes down to a feeling of how hard and what direction you push the sail in. In this demo, I'm not really pushing too hard, but more guiding the sail around my body. Try to have contact with the boom as long as you can before you have to let go. The next part is where the ankle biter gets its name. As soon as you have completely let go, you have to quickly move your feet. So move the first foot directly up and then place it in front of the UJ. And then with the other foot, you're gonna avoid the mast by moving it up and then round. And then ideally place it behind the UJ once the sail has rotated round. In this demo, I actually place it quickly in front of the UJ before moving it again behind the UJ. Be careful not to stand too close to the nose of the board. If you do, the tail is gonna lift up and the sail might hit the board as it comes round. Instead, aim to be as close to the UJ as you possibly can. Then finally, if you've thrown the sail correctly, it will continue rotating and catch the true wind as it comes round and start to float back up and hopefully into your hands. The final one is the jawbreaker. The first step is to flip the sail into clue first. Then steer into the wind by keeping the sail back as you normally would to steer into the wind. Steer until the nose is pointing into the wind or even slightly past the wind. Then you're gonna guide the sail forward as you normally would for a clue first heli tack and spread your hands to control the power in the sail. The aim is to get the sail to backwind before going for the throw. So once the sail is backwinded in control, you're ready to do the jawbreaker. Now you're gonna aggressively push with the mark hand. The aim is to get the sail as far away from you as you can, directly into the wind. The more wind you have, the more aggressive you have to be. At the same time as you push with the mast hand, let go of the back hand and watch out for the clue as the sail flips, hence the name the jawbreaker. If you do the throw correctly, the sail should flip around and it will actually look very similar to the sail movement of the chachu throw. The sail should then get caught by the true wind and with any luck float back up into your hands. These were my best three clips from the session, but for full 
full transparency, it did take a lot of trial and error to actually get them like this. I certainly didn't get them on every attempt, so they're still a work in progress, but I'm really enjoying learning and improving my Lightwind freestyle when the wind isn't quite good enough for proper windsurfing. I find that the best way to learn is to just keep practicing. And if you can, set up a simulator on the beach, that's also gonna help you out. Let me know in the comments which move was your favorite and which ones you're gonna try out. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.